thank you for this opportunity and thank you guys to be here uh my today's topic on which i want to really give the reflection that self love leads to sustainable relationships i am a relationship coach and i want to talk about this on every day every moment and every second so that my the, the relationship starts with some question are we ready for relationships do we love ourselves enough what do self love means do we ever ask those question to ourselves maybe yes or maybe no so today i am here to give you some perspective on this so as we prepare our daily routine work we plan it we most of us most of most of the events we plan for our daily life but we hardly spare are we hardly prepare ourselves for relationships usually what happens when we uh, ask a girl to marry we said okay go th- do this 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 when you when you enter a new home but we never ask the girl or a male that are you ready to be emotionally for this relationships but there is to be preparation there needs to be do some of the very important preparation preparation uh, relationship are not task well if you look at the amount of misunderstanding conflicts of opinion and parting of ways on disagreement among two individuals we would agree that some amount of mutual preparedness would definitely help in creating long lasting relationships does that mean we have to compromise on our happiness and adjust according to others person expectation not at all my dear that that is where the role of relationships uh, experts come to understand how to bring the the preparing the self and building an empathetic outcome i'll give you five ways to do that so are you ready guys yes appreciate your time and efforts that you invest in your own rituals and your own activities prepare a time where you are doing same things at a same time of moment reflect and spend a healthy time going on your own things together this is a one preparation you can do on your daily basis one thing which you can follow on daily basis activities like hobbies share some uh, uh, share some common habits or meditate together remember you are the master of, of your own happiness people in our life can only enhance that happiness but you have to take responsibility and nurture yourself second third see yourself see in yourself what people see in you don't see that you are a negative person don't see that people are saying you negative and you start following it make yourself unique and understand your own wishes and add them in your relationships accept the flaws and don't and don't get disheartened by the criticism very important when you are getting into relationships make yourself strong let love grow like a habit not a not a compul- compulsory thing in your relationships so uh, i want to give again an emphasis to build a healthy and harmonious relationships in everybody's life this is the only asset we have once we are towards our old age and once we are lying towards our other thing our material but the love always be there in all kind of relationships it is not about the couples it is the relationship we carry in our each day with everyone so thank you so much for this evening thank you so much again and make yourself very strong love yourself and cherish your relationships